Hi teachers, I created some interactive notebooks and I want to show you how you can edit them, embed them to your Schoology course or you can use them online. These are interactive because I link them so that when you click on the tabs, the notebook opens as if you were turning the pages in real life. For example, this five tab notebook can be useful for anchor charts, science notes, vowel pictures, or anything that you would want to have as a guide for your students. It also has an index right here on the top left corner. If you click on it, you can go ahead and write what each tab will be about. And if you click on the home icon, it takes you back to the front cover. You can add a title of what this notebook would be used for. If you enjoy these teacher tech tutorials, don't forget to like this video and subscribe. There's also an alphabet notebook and I love it because it would be great for a digital word wall. You can add the spelling words each week or you can have it as a guide for common misspelled words for kids. I would also recommend it for science or math vocabulary words. The ideas are endless and you can use it however it works best for you. And like I said, all of these tabs are linked so that when the kids click on them, it takes them to that page and you can add images, text, whatever you'd like. And once you wanna go back to the front, you simply click on the home icon and it takes you back to the front cover. The last one is a calendar. When you click on the tabs, it opens up the month and you can edit this. You can add images. You can add your students' birthdays, important events for your school year, and have it on your Schoology or your course or share the link with the parents. I'm going to show you how to um, publish it to the web and, and share that link with the parents. That way, um, the students can have access to important dates. Okay, so really quick, I'm going to show you how you're going to add images or text to your notebooks. You would open the link to your Google slide. So when you open the file, it's going to open a Google slide. You'll also have it in PowerPoint, um, but in order to embed it in a course or share it from the web, it would have to be Google slide. And you can edit it however you like. For example, here, I'm going to dedicate this one for math. And here I'm going to add a text box so I can write on this tab and I'm going to assign that pink one for rounding. Once you add the subject to the link, then you would go to that slide, the pink one, and you can add text or images. I'm going to add some anchor charts so that way the students have it accessible for them. So simply go to insert and then click on image. I already have the screenshot of what I want to add, so I'm going to upload from computer. And then I'm going to select the image I want and I'm going to adjust it to the size that I want. And then I'm going to add one more. I'm going to go back to insert image, upload from computer and add the next anchor chart. So these are going to be for rounding and I want my students to have them accessible um, for whenever they forget my strategy that I showed them or um, this anchor chart. Once you're done completing it, then you can also add, of course, you can add a cover here and put math anchor charts or however you want to do it. You're going to go to file and then go down to publish to the web and then click on embed. Then click on small and click publish. You're going to have this link. Go ahead and copy it. And then go back to your Schoology course. Click on Add Materials, Add Page. And I'll put Math Notebook. And I'm not going to paste it here. You need to make sure you go to the top right corner and switch here on these dots. And then you paste that code there. And don't forget to click on this display in line and create. 
when I scroll down and I click on there, you'll see that whatever I added is going to be there. Now, if you wanna add more things, you don't have to repeat this process. All you have to do is go to your Google slide and then let's say, for example, I want to add another subject here, another math subject, and I'm gonna add a text box. And I'm gonna put multiplication. Okay, so then you'll notice that whatever I add here will automatically link here. All you have to do is when you go back to your Schoology course, you don't have to remove this and then click the link again and embed it again. You just refresh the page. And then when I go to that index, you'll see that whatever I typed on the Google slide will automatically transfer to the notebook. That would work best like if you're doing um, editing on your calendar and you don't want to keep doing it, um, the embedding link again every single time, you just simply add it in your Google slide. And that's one way to use it. Another way is by just simply publishing it to the web. You would go to File, Publish to the Web, and then you would get this link right here. When you share this link with students or you send it to them and you paste it on the web, it opens like a website. And when students click on it, they'll be able to access it again like this. So that's another way you can use it. Or you can also use it in PowerPoint. I hope you like these digital notebooks. I added the links of everything I showed you below this video. If you have any questions, let me know. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe to see some more teacher tech tutorials.